This is Net News Ledger's annual report on the Toys for the North campaign. The CF-18 Hercules arrived in Thunder Bay with 6,000 pounds of toys. We then went to Cat Lake and Satchigo Lake to deliver those toys to very happy children and very happy community. This is James with Net News Ledger. Here is your full story. We're, we're on board the Air, uh, Air Force Hercules that just come into Thunder Bay. What was the flight in like today? You're working for Santa Claus today. The flight in was pretty smooth. Um, a little bit of icing coming out of Trenton and lots of snow in Trenton. And what's the cargo load today of toys? How much do you know what it weighs? Uh, I can tell you exactly how much it weighs. Uh, we have about 6,000 pounds on board uh, for Thunder Bay. So that's a lot of toys for the kids up north. Quite a few, yes. Thank you very much. No problem. Let's get that. We're with Karen from North Star Air. You're sitting in the Hercules. I am. This is a thrill of a lifetime. Thanks so much for allowing us to do this. It's wonderful to even get to show the public what this is all about. Now this is how many years for North Star Air with Toys for the North? North Star Air has been partnering with the RCMP for the past five years. We're super excited about this. Next week we are visiting two communities with all these toys. There is a super abundance, so uh, we're going to put some smiles on some kids' faces this year. And then you get to see the... Well, do you think North Star Air needs one of these to be shipping stuff north? Hmm. <laughs> well, we certainly have our fleet of Vazzlers that will definitely uh, get these toys back up to the uh, north. It's a busy time of the year, people wanting to come down and shop and then families and visit. Yes, yes, uh, that does happen quite a bit. Of course, uh, you know, we've got our passenger service, we get our families down here, they come do their shopping, and of course we will get their cargo back up so that they can have a very Merry Christmas in their community. We're with Staff Sergeant Norman Roy. This is your first year kind of as a civilian on this project. Yes, uh, I continue the journey as a retired member of the RCMP. Um, great program, um, great opportunity again to continue something that uh, I, we started off here in Thunder Bay eight years ago. And um, I'm glad I was able to continue this, uh, this journey of uh, delivering toys up to the communities. This must be a special event for the RCMP bringing all the smiles to the kids' faces. Well, you know, uh, like I mentioned, uh, the Toys comes in. It's a program from the RSMP, not only here in Thunder Bay or the northern communities of Ontario that's going to receive these toys, uh, but we also had some uh, toys delivered to Goose Bay, uh, Labrador uh, today. So we had two different flights uh, that left uh, Trenton uh, uh, this morning. The toys were then sorted, packaged, and made ready to go and depart from North Star Air here in Thunder Bay and we begin our journey. You're taking a crew up from Toys for the North for North Star Air and the RCMP. That's correct. And everybody's been checked, they've all been good? They've all been good. It's been a great year this year for all the boys and girls in Cat Lake and Sajiko, for sure. Now, we have the RCMP here. What does Toys for the North mean for the RCMP? Well, the Toys for the North uh, campaign is basically we're just facilitating um, having the opportunity to pick up the toys. We're gathering the toys and started off in Toronto. And then uh, we got the Canadian Armed Forces. They brought some here to, uh, also to uh, Labrador. And just our, just, just facilitating and helping out. And uh, that's our role. And we're just helping out the communities that we, uh, um, that we serve. And Tom, North Star Air has been partnered with Toys for the North and, and a lot of really neat projects. What does this mean for North Star Air? Well, it means giving back to our communities up north, to the children and, and getting them more involved in uh, the outside world. So we're, we're, we're ecstatic that uh, we work with the RCMP and they've been doing an excellent job organizing this and I hope this continues forever. Thank you. We had a very smooth flight aboard the North Star Air Pilatus, and our first stop was in Cat Lake First Nation.
The toys were then unloaded from North Star Air's cargo plane onto the back of pickup trucks and to be taken into Cat Lake. Now, Cat Lake was doing something interesting. The toys were going from the aircraft. They were going to be packaged up, and they're being delivered at a community event in Cat Lake that will be on Christmas Eve. But we did spend some time with the children and the people in Cat Lake. There was time for class pictures with Santa Claus and the RCMP and a chance to meet Sergeant Norman Roy. There we are. Look at you. I got a chair to sit down on. Well, thank you very much. Hi, Christmas? Okay, someone taking pictures? <laughs> Are you excited for Christmas? Uh, yeah. What do you think you're going to get under the tree? A dog. A dog? <laughs> After some time with the kids, it was over to the band office for a quick visit and a little bit of hello and some holiday cheer and then a tour around Cat Lake so that we got to see the community. Here's Santa Claus in the Cat Lake First Nation vehicle and then back on board our airplane as we headed off to Satchigo Lake. Hello! Hey. How are you? Oh, Merry Christmas, Satchigo! <laughs> Ledger. We're in Satchiko Lake at the school and we're just waiting on the arrival of Santa Claus who's going to be coming in shortly and it's just a cool day here. It's a little bit on the chilly side but just a fun continued operation for Toys for the North. Santa, we've arrived at Satchiko Lake. Yes, we have. Nice short flight. Your reindeer were doing a good job. Oh, absolutely. Rudolph is awesome. Excited for Christmas? Yeah, I'm getting a pet fish. A pet fish? What kind of fish? Uh, not a golden one because that one um, dies easily, so I'm getting a normal fish. A normal fish, alright, thank you. The toys were being delayed getting into Saskatoon Lake by weather in the airboat, so while we waited, the kids, with all of their excitement, decided to cheer us up and leave it a dancing to jingle bell.
Voice for the North program uh, campaign, I've been involved for approximately eight years. Uh, so now, even as a retired member, I still have the opportunity to continue the vision that we had at the beginning of the program uh, here in Thunder Bay and uh, to continue to bring joy to the communities. The toys uh, that we're delivering today across the north, what was their journey? Well, the journey started off in Toronto, started off uh, with the donations from the Gain Toy um, uh, Association. Then they were transported to uh, Trenton, then delivered by the Canadian Armed Forces. The big hurt came in uh, uh, last Friday. And uh, then on uh, Monday uh, this week, we had to do the triage of all the toys because they went to different communities. And uh, this morning, we left uh, with our, our plane and we have so much uh, toys. Can't fit in our plane, so we, had, uh, we were fortunate to have a second uh, aircraft to bring in the toys for uh, the communities. And you guys have toys of, of all different kinds for all different ages of kids, right? Yeah, it varies from uh, the babies and varies to uh, about 14, 16 year old uh, uh, youth, uh, boys, girls, uh, babies, uh, a variety of toys and yeah. Well, I think it's very important that uh, for myself that we're able to uh, uh, bring uh, some toys, bring some joy to some of the communities. Uh, far away from the bigger centers. And it's not all, always the youth. And when you uh, walk into the community, you see the elders, you see the people of the community, and just the joy and the happiness of seeing us, uh, and bring the toys, and bring also just all that joy and ready for Christmas. So it's a Christmas uh, um, theme, I would say, and just the happiness that we see. Uh, you, can't, you can't describe it. This, is, this has become a tradition now we've been going on toys for the north for it's five years i would say about five six years for sure yes what's the plans for the future oh the plans for the future may expand my understanding could expand however we'll continue in ontario and not only here in ontario that will that receives toys uh, from that program they also go to labrador so there's also uh, part of these toys that was donated this year uh, went to Labrador and some came to Thunder Bay for the communities. Who else, the partners that help the RCMP and Toys for the North happen? Well, I'll tell you for the, specifically for our Thunder Bay region. I mean, we couldn't do this without North Star Air. We couldn't do this without Guard One. We couldn't do this with the media and uh, all the partners and the communities that's helping out to make it very, like, fun um, and seamless. And uh, just the the orchestration of, it's nice to just to receive these toys in like a hub like Thunder Bay, but how do we get it to the community? And this is where the guard line uh, transportation, this is where North Star Air really helps us out to uh, have them delivered. So what about, I mean, do you have an approximation of the number of toys? It's a lot of toys. Well, uh, according to some of my sources, uh, we had, uh, I believe, 6,000 pounds of toys that we received. Uh, from that aircraft uh, last Friday, which represent, I would, uh, approximately just less than 3,000 toys that we received. And every year it's different toys, uh, you know, variety, um, uh, different themes, and this year it uh, seems to have uh, nice toys, um, like, like usual, but it's very geared towards the, the youth of the community. Well, I, I think it gives the opportunity, like I came to the communities here um, and I have some uh, people from the community that never seen the Red Surge and we are, we are an icon of Canada and uh, so they have an opportunity to see us here in their home place um, versus on TV, etc. And uh, so just that, that having uh, that our presence and bringing Santa Claus and our group, it just shows them that there's, we care and we're, we're here to bring them joy, and the, not always the gifts. Thank you. From there, it was off to a community feast being held in Sachigo Lake, where we got to spend some time with community members, enjoy a delicious meal with all the trimmings, and then, from there, it was back to work, getting the toys to the kids. Uh, individual boys and girls. Boys? Are 
let's see what you got. What did you get? Whoa! Does that make you happy? Big smile? Yes, smile. Cool. Toys for the North is one of the favorite stories we like to share with you from Net News Ledger. We'd like to thank North Star Air for getting us up and back safely, as always. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police and retired Staff Sergeant Norman Roy, and everyone from Garden Wine and from the Canadian Armed Forces who helped make this happen. This is James with Net News Ledger.